Okay, we should be up and running now, and my viewers, for some reason, is not working. What is going on with that? Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> it should be displaying right down here in the bottom corner, but apparently it's not. Maybe I need to make it bigger. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> it doesn't show. That's weird. I just moved to my new machine, and I'm having some technical difficulties, which is why I started a little bit late, but... Yeah, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for some reason my viewer down here in the bottom corner is not displaying. I think I need to check that next time I do a stream, but for some reason it's not displaying anything. That's really strange. Hmm, weird. Okay, well anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started here in just a second. <clears throat> And it looks like I already have a viewer on, I know, already at this point, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> okay, so I actually have had this data for almost three weeks now, <laughs> since the 13th, as you can see by the date there. So I've had this for a while now, but I'm just doing the stream now, because I ended up getting it actually just a few days after this month that we're in now. So this is, old, this is actually data I've had for a little bit now. So... Starting off with, I did already look at this, you know, briefly before like I usually do, uh, but this is um, a new armor. This is Aaron Water, since we have, you know, Aaron Water Month right now. So this is armor one, air water, male, I think. So that's that. And there's number two, which looks to be the same armor, but female. So that's a brand new one. <clears throat> so I did, of course, I have looked at it already. So there are reskins, of, of course, you know. Yeah, I actually had to, um, I got a new machine and I got everything installed on it. And the audio on this one works much better than my old laptop did. So I'm going to be using this going forward. So I won't have the same issues I had before, <laughs> thankfully. And I think I've got everything more or less set up the back, back the way it needs to be. But unfortunately, my little viewer window down here and my follower window, which it should be over here somewhere, just aren't working, so I'll have to look into that after I get done. I thought I fixed them already, but apparently I didn't. So, anyway, moving on. This is another new armor. This is Aaron Earth. So I'm thinking, I'm trying to remember, is it Aaron Earth Fusion? No, Aaron Earth is Fusion this month, so this is probably a seasonal. So this is armor 2, Air Earth, male. Whoops, I missed the M. There we go. Um, this is one of the reskins. Um, this was Rube's Soul, um, which was a raid armor from a while ago. It's Air and Earth this time, instead of being, uh, I think it was Earth and Spirit, something like that. So this is armor number three. So this is most likely going to be a raid armor, I think. I think that's male. Looks like it. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Still getting used to my new machine. It's significantly faster than my laptop is, so it's just going to take me a while to get used to it. Okay, so that's a step down from Ascension, and I think that's male. That is another new one. This is Air and Fire. And my Zoom's actually working on this machine. I think it may have been my laptop just being being old and tired. <laughs> Armor 4, Air and Fire. I think that's female. I'm going to say it's female for now, because it's really, really narrow waist right there, so... This is another new one, or another reskin, excuse me. This one was, um, I want to say this was a Guild War armor, but it's Air and Fire. That's male, I'm pretty sure. But this is one that's been used before as well. Uh, this is a new one. This is Air and Earth. I really dig that helmet. It's just really cool looking. Um, this is, I'm guessing, probably a seasonal. But I'll give a more detailed breakdown of that once we get to that point. There's that air and fire we saw. I think it was this one. Yeah, just making sure I got the right one again. And I think I, I made a mistake. That actually is the female. Let me rename this one to be male. There we go. And there's the same one we just looked at. That's the step down from ascension on the male. I believe it's this one. Okay, then we have that one, which is the female of this one at the top, but male, or but female instead of the male. One step down, I should say. <clears throat> and this is another new one. This is Aaron's Spirit. You can see that helmet there. It's a pretty cool looking one, too. This is Armor 7. Air Spirit. 
pretty sure that's male as well. Uh, that is the one we just looked at, which is this one, but female. Uh, that one is air and earth. I think it was this one? No, one above it. That one, yep, that one right there. That's weird, it's kind of stuttery. <laughs> that was weird. So that thing kind of glitched out a bit there. So this is the female of that one. Wish I could see how many viewers I have on. That's kind of irritating that I can't see it now. <laughs> I have no idea who's on. All right, so moving on. Um, then we have this one, which is the same one, but a step down from Ascension, I think. Oh, what's going on here, Windows? It's being weird. Doesn't like that, apparently. Oh, I apparently was going to be on the wrong, wrong armor in the first place. So this one is, I think, this one. Yeah, it's that one. And that's the female version, I believe. Looks like it. Has the narrower waist. And that's the air and water. So that's going to be pro most likely our fusion armor. So this is the fusion air and water. So this is the second air and water. That is the air and spirit. We saw, I think it was this one. Yeah. Again, just making sure it's the female of that one. That is the one with the big horns on it, Aaron's spirit. I think it was this one. Yep. Okay. So that's the male of that one, but one step down. There is the female, air and earth. I think it was this one. Yeah. A glitchy, weird, weird. Windows being dumb. <laughs> that's the female of that one, but one step down from ascension. There we go. There's the Aaron Spirit we just saw, which I think was this one. Yes. Okay. So yeah, so anyway, the new machine I got is actually, it's technically older hardware. It's, I think, maybe two or three years old now, but it's significantly faster than my current machine. And I can actually play games on this one. My laptop was limited to very, very old, like, you know, five-plus-year-old games. I couldn't really even play anything current on it. But this one I actually can play some current games on, so I haven't tried much yet, but... It is now a possibility. Okay. So that's that one. But female. That's the air and fire. Was it this one? No. The one below it. That one. Yeah. What games am I looking forward to? Uh, to be honest, I have been out of the gaming arena and for so long I don't even know what's even out there now. Um, I'd probably have to ask my son-in-law. Because <laughs> I, just, I just don't game really anymore at all anymore, so... I haven't legitimately played games of any kind for other than console, and I only have like an Xbox 360 I never really upgraded. Again, mostly due to time. I just don't have the time to play games anymore, but as time goes on, I might have more time. Um, I mostly play like first-person shooter style games anyway, so I don't even know what's available right now, and I'm, I'm not really much into RPG kind of games, so other than Knights and Dragons, obviously. But that's more of a, a simplified RPG. It's not as complicated as some other ones. Like World of Warcraft, I could never play. It's just way too way, way too much going on there, and I don't want to have to bother with learning all that. So I probably would never play it. So armor 2? Yeah. So this is Armor 2. But yeah, I've, I'm been, I've been out of touch for so long, I'm not even sure what's, what's around anymore. So this is our dual air, for those of you who are waiting to see this. That's the dual air right there. So for anyone who wanted to see what it looked like, you now know. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's dual air, and that is male, I believe. Armor 9. Oops, I'm in the wrong window. Why are you doing that? Stop it, you goofy thing. There we go. It wasn't moving on me. It's freaking out on me again because I'm, re I'm renaming armors as I go, and so it doesn't like doing that when I'm doing when I'm moving around. It doesn't like it very much. <clears throat> okay, so air fire. No, not that one. Second one. I'm gonna get this eventually. <laughs> it might take me a bit, but I'll get it. It's this one here. Okay, there's our air and earth at the top, I believe. This one. Yeah. So this is the female. 
There's our air and water at the very top. That's the female of that one. Female base. And the male base. That, that one's done. There's our air and air female. Air and spirit, the one with the horns on it, which was, I think, the first one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that one is the male. There's our air and fire, I think, at the top, the top one. Yep. <clears throat> so that one is one step down from ascension. There's air and spirit. That was the... Ugh. I'm not sure which one that one was. Is that this one? No. The one above it. Number... Or sorry, the one below it, excuse me. Yeah, that one right there. There is the air and water fusion armor. <clears throat> That's our air and earth, I think. Think. <laughs> that's the male. I'm pretty sure that's the male. It's hard to tell on that armor. It really is. Oops. Keep it the wrong one. This one right here. I really wish it wouldn't do that. It's really kind of irritating. There we go. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's the male. It looks like the male. I'm going to say it does. Oops. Wrong button. Still getting used to this. Horns, yeah. <laughs> lots and lots of horns. Okay, there's our air and fire. I keep it in the wrong one. I keep it in the wrong one over and over again. That's it right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get it one of these days. There's just too many of them in a row and it's messing me up. Okay, so this one is, I believe... Nope, I got it wrong. This is actually the female... That's the male. Okay, I'm going to close you and start fresh here. Redesign the cycle's ultimate armor. Uh, very unlikely. They have only done that once. Um, they put one out and then they decided they didn't like the design of it after all, and so it never got released. And then they made a new one like a month or something later. So it's unlikely that they'll redesign it. Okay. This one, I believe, is the first one. Yes, okay. Good. I'm getting it slowly. <laughs> I'll get it just in time to be done. <laughs> it's usually how it works. <clears throat> okay, now, this is air and water. It does not look distinctly air and water, I know. This is another event. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, I'm assuming, since it's February, it might be like a, a Valentine's Day thing. I don't know. But this is the regular version of the armor, and there will be a golden one in just a bit. So there are, in fact, um, 11 armors this month, this ne coming, coming month. So this is air, water. That one is male. Um, don't like it when it does that. It just decides it doesn't want to move on me. Um, yeah, for some reason it just decides, nope, I'm not moving anymore. I don't know why it does that. <clears throat> okay, air, spirit, I think it's this one. Nope, of course, I hit the wrong one. It's this one. Yeah, that's it, okay. So this is the female. There's our base of the air and earth, which I think was three. No, of course not. <laughs> I'm on a roll today, I tell you what. Okay. Water fire. Yeah, it is actually quite similar. I don't know why. They I don't know why they're doing that. And by the way, I have the chat actually in my Twitch. Like, or in my OBS window, you can't see it, of course, but I can see it right here integrated into it, so it makes it easier for me to see both at the same time. But I can't still see that number down there, and I can't see the follower thing over here, so I have to fix that later. Okay, air fire. Where are you at? Is this one? No, of course not. That one. Yeah, there we go. That's the male base of that one. There's the same armor we just saw, but that's a step down from Ascension. And there's the golden version. So there's that one. It's the same, you know, air and water, same thing. <clears throat> so we get an event roughly every 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 other month. 
So this one is very similar to the air, and, air and, or the water and fire, like uh, like Fishy was saying, Clutch was saying just a minute ago. Same same very similar look. But that's another event of some kind. I don't know. Okay, so there's armor eleven. Air water. <clears throat> and there's the female of the same armor. That makes it easy. There's the Aaron Spirit with the horns, which was, I want to say it was this one. No, of course not. I got it wrong. <laughs> okay, that's the female base of that one. Okay. The one above it. So that one's done, other than the head and all the rest of it. Aaron Fire. Yep, that one right there. And this is the female base of that one. There's the air and water, which was right here. That's the female. I can't tell if that's just one step down or if that's base. I don't know. We'll get to it eventually. <clears throat> okay, that air and fire is going to be done here in a moment. It's going to be out of my hair. I don't have to worry about it anymore. <clears throat> that one's done. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. Yeah, they're um, <clears throat> they are um, they are using actually. I think I mentioned this in a previous stream or two ago. Um, they actually are using some of the people who designed armors back in like the Dragon Forged and early Shadow Forged days. So they went with a new team sometime thereafter. I'm not sure exactly when it was, like season 12, 15, something like that. And then they've gone back to using the original team that was designing prior to then. And most of the stuff I think they're doing is coming from the new team. So I'm liking the looks of these armors as well. So this is the female of that one. I hate when it does that. It doesn't want to move. There we go. <clears throat> so there's our dual air. Um, that's the male. I think that's one step down from ascension. I will have to look. Whoops. Pretty sure it is anyway. <clears throat> air and earth at the top. I think it's this one. Hey, I got it right that time. Yay! <laughs> like I said, I'll get it just before I finish. And it won't do me any good at that point. Okay, I think that's female, the same dual air. <clears throat> That'd probably be a bird. It's entirely possible. Who knows? Okay, there's the female of the first one, but one step down. There's the Aaron Spirit, which was... No, of course not. Oh, that one's already done. What am I doing? This is the male base. There's the base of the male of this first of the dual color armors. <clears throat> Aaron Water Base. Okay. I was right. Actually, nope, sorry. That's female. And there's male. Okay. Right next to it. Good. That one's done. <clears throat> so this is the golden female. I believe one step down. Hoping the fish don't lie. <laughs> okay. Uh, dual air. That is the male, I think, base. Air and spirit. Not that Aaron Spirit, this Aaron Spirit. There's the dual air female. Oops. If my fingers would cooperate, that would be excellent. <clears throat> okay, there's the base of the female. Armor number six. Yeah, it has some elements that look similar, for sure. Okay, did I get that one? I think I did. I don't know. I'm going to close it and start over. <laughs> Just so I don't mess myself up. Okay, I did not get that one. Okay, so this is the base male of the second one, I want to say. I think so. There's the base of the female of the first one. And there's the base of the female of the second one. I think that's it. 
Yep, that's it. Okay. <clears throat> Moving into heads. And there's the armor number 10's head. Makes it easy to write at the end. There is our dual air. That's the dual air head. I like the look of that one quite a lot. Oops. And there is the cape. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> it's like a, some kind of air dragon or something wrapped around wrapped around the back. I mean, it would be cool if it wrapped around the body, but that would be hard to do graphically, I think. So that is the cape. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, moving on. There's the head for the air and earth. I think that was the first one. I think. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> Got it right. Okay. There's the head for the air water fusion. Some of these are easy, some of them aren't. The ones that have like, that are right back to back, it's hard to get those in the right order. I think that was this one. No, of course not. It's armor six. There is the air and fire, which I think think was the first one. No. <laughs> Good lord. I'm, I'm going to get this eventually. Actually, I didn't click on the first one. It was the first one. I was right. I just clicked on the wrong armor. And if you can hear my grandkids hollering in the background, I apologize. They're feeling very loud and noisy today. I don't know if you can actually hear them or not. My microphone's not usually that sensitive, but just in case you can. <laughs> now you know where, where that noise is coming from. <clears throat> okay, so this is the second one, because I already got the first one. This is Rube's soul, as I said. Reskinned. There's the cape and the other cape. I don't know why they have two. They always have two. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to move that into its own folder. So 76 and 77, I believe. Yeah, okay. Move you into your own folder. This machine is also significantly snappier. Like when I move back and forth between things, it just moves without me having to like really think about it. <clears throat> okay, so this air in spirit is the other one. Yes, okay. Because I already got the first one. Actually, let me really quickly turn on the preview over here on the left, or on the left-hand side so I can see it. Yeah, that makes things a little bit easier, so make sure I'm renaming the right one. There's a pet, and it is an awfully lot like a bird, so you are correct. <laughs> it's a bird. <clears throat> and there are, of course, this color and that color. So, it actually looks more like a, maybe an insect. It has like kind of an insect sort of body. But yeah, that's, that's the pet, so. Anyway, so let me move these out of here really quick. Close you. Okay, so we've got 79, 79 to 82. Get those out of the way. That's the head for the air, the other air and fire, because I already got that one. So we're going to use this one here instead. Okay, that's a pet, so we've got 84. Eighty-four to ninety-eight. Makes it easy. Eighty-four to ninety-eight. Get those out of the way. So there should be Oh, I'm still missing one. There should be twenty in total, so I've still got a pet in here somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> So this is the ring for the very first armor, the air and water, and I'm pretty sure, by the way, this is a raid armor, because <clears throat> I didn't go into the bosses, which is, hang on, I'm going to have to do that. I used to do bosses first, but this time I didn't do it, because I wanted to get going, because I was running late already. So 100, <clears throat> oh, there's, there's the final pits, 100. Okay, there we go. That was you. All right. There's the amulet for the very first armor. 
matches up nicely with the look of that armor, so it's pretty easy to figure that one out. <clears throat> There's the air and fire. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Yeah. Oops. That looks just like the original one that went with it, so no big surprise there. And there's the ring. That makes it easy. Okay, so this one, I'll have to look at these. I think that might be the exclusive. I'm not sure, though. Yep, looks just like the shield right there. It has the same sort of, like, wrap around here and wrap around there. So that's the ring for that one. Why won't you move? There we go. That is the reskin of Rube's soul, which is up here at the top. It's this one here? Nope. Of course not. And really quick while I've got that one done, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, amulet for it, which is right afterwards. That makes it really easy. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Still got this frog in my throat. You'd think with it snowing outside that I wouldn't have allergies, but no, they don't go away. Like, ever. So this one I'm going to say goes with our fusion armor, which is the air and water right here, because <clears throat> it has the same kind of wings on the weapon right there, and has the same sort of like golden gem in the center of the uh, the center of the chest as well as these arm these shoulder plates, and so it looks just like that one. So there's there's that one. Okay, now we have another another different ring, the next one. That's going to be probably our Aaron Spirit. This one here, most likely. I think. It does have the same kind of look and feel to the chest plate right there. And it is similar somewhat to the head design. But I think it's probably this one because it looks like right there in the chest area. Kind of has the same sort of like two two little jewels looking thing to it so I'm gonna say it goes with that one that's number 101 108 this is one of the um, event armor rings looks just like the first one. Oh, stop it goofy thing There's the other one. Figured I'd just rename it really quick while I was on there. <clears throat> okay. This one has the horns on it. That looks just like the helmet of the other Aaron spirit. This one right here. As you can see. <laughs> looks very similar. And I don't have to wait for my computer to be, you know, to catch up anymore. Which is kind of nice. That is the Aaron Fire, the other, the new Aaron Fire. This one right here. Yep, looks just like the center of the head, center of the helmet. That's an easy one. Okay, that's a new one. Whoa, trippy. <laughs> okay. That one has the other, the, uh, that's the air and earth up here at the top. I think it's this one. Yeah, that one right there has the same horns. Easy enough. Trippy. There's our air and air amulet. Okay. That's the Aaron Spirit, I believe. This one? No, not that one. That one right there. It's just like the shield. But spirit themed instead of air themed. Because it's a spirit amulet. Okay. Wish it would just let me move without having to zoom out and zoom in. That's the other Aaron Fire, which I think was that one right there. Again, looks just like the center of the head. So that's an easy one as well. This is an easy month, actually, so far. <clears throat> an easy month of data, I mean, to go through. That is Aaron's spirit. I think it's this one. Maybe? Possibly? OK, 
Okay, maybe not. The other air and spirit then. No, I already got that amulet, so it's, well, let me look at the air and water, because I haven't gotten that one yet. <clears throat> no, it's the wrong color scheme. I think. Doesn't look enough like that to me. I already got that one. Huh. Let me look here. Oops, I went too far. It's not the air and water, I don't think. <clears throat> I just closed that one. I didn't mean to open it again. The other air and spirit. Right here. I think it goes with this one, but I'm just not seeing that kind of design right there, unless I'm missing it. It does have a similar kind of color scheme to it, but I'm just not seeing that particular design really anywhere in here. Hmm. How far am I in here? 31 minutes, not bad. Um, it just doesn't look enough like this to really fit. So let me go back up to the top. Just for fun. No, that one I already know is correct. And that one does not look anything like that. No, definitely not that one. <laughs> All the wrong color scheme. It would be an earth amulet anyway. That one's already done. That one is already done. That one's already done. Yeah, that one's, that one's clear. I already know that one's right. I think it's got to go with this one. I just don't see that look anywhere. Unless I'm just missing it. That kind of flared like design there. I just don't see it. I mean, it's the same sort of color scheme. I just don't see that particular design anywhere. Unless I'm just blind and missing it. Okay, for now I'm going to say it goes with it. Because <clears throat> I don't know where else it would go. Because it doesn't look like any of the other armors, really. Okay, moving on. Okay, that one... Nope, I actually got that wrong. This actually goes with this armor. It does. That goes with this. Yeah, the color scheme matches. Well, mostly matches. Has the same sort of like, you know, multiple ridge sort of look like on the side of the chest plate there, and the end of the weapon has a very similar kind of, you know, alternating color scheme. It goes with this one. So I gotta rename this guy here. This is wrong. Um, I'm just gonna rename this one to be image 98 for now, because I don't know where that goes exactly. This one here is the one I wanted to name that one. Well, I made a mistake. Not the first time, won't be the last time. <clears throat> okay, so this one, I just don't know where this goes. Zooming, trippy, weird. Okay, let's move on. I'll come back to that one. There's a crafting material. It's a happy cat. It's a happy lucky cat. This is going to be SF55 material. I'm just going to label it material one because it's probably going to go with like... It's actually Chinese New Year. I don't know why I didn't think of that. February, Chinese New Year. Um, that one goes with the air and earth at the top. I think it was... Yeah, it goes with this one, because it has the same sort of horn on it. There's kind of that spike in the center of the helmet. But it also looks a bit like the... Um, it just looks like this armor. It fits with that armor. So there's our amulet. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, I was thinking um, Valentine's Day, but no, it's Chinese New Year. Um, amulet. There's the amulet for the bottom one. So that's going to be this one here. Yeah. <clears throat> And the amulet for the other one, number 11. Easy enough. Cool. All right, close that. OK, so there is crafting material number two. Again, I don't know what, which ones of these necessarily are going to be seasonal versus non-seasonal, like event specific. So I'm going, well, let me look at, look at them really quick here, because there's, there's five of them. Yeah. So, <clears throat> okay, so let me go back through these materials one more time. So we have this one here, which looks like the cat. That's probably going to be event. I'll put event here. And that's a, a fortune cookie. So we're going to name that one material number two. 
<clears throat> that one is material number three. Whoops, 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 whoops. Don't do that. Okay, <clears throat> so this is going to be a thing of thread and what looks like a an ornament or something. I don't know what that is exactly, but <clears throat> these three being kind of more Chinese themed and Chinese New Year. There you go. <clears throat> so this one, I just need to figure out where this guy goes. I was thinking maybe it was the fusion armor, but it didn't look like the fusion armor to me, though. I guess it has to be. It's the only one that's really left. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I guess it's the only other option we have left. Okay, that's done. All right, now, here we go. Let's copy cape and pets, all the other miscellaneous stuff. Move all these into that other folder, and then I'll jump to the bosses really quick because I completely forgot to. Whoops. Whoops. Hang on. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Okay, there we go. Copy. <laughs> <clears throat> and paste. Kablam. Okay. Now let's go to bosses. <clears throat> okay, so bosses. This one, as you can see, matches the first armor. So that's raid boss number one. Boss one. And, whoops, I did not want to rename that. There we go. We got a new, actually, they're the brand new boss and a reskin boss, which is not surprising. That's what happens normally. So, yeah, that's exactly my thoughts, is I don't know where else it would go. Boss one, that might help if my fingers would cooperate. And boss two. And as usual, that is not a guarantee of the order, that's just the way I name them. Okay, <clears throat> so here we go. Go back into here, we're gonna start assembling. So we're gonna do males this time around. Since there are um, 11 of them, I'm gonna do six in the first batch. Um, why is it not letting me open? Just hit edit, maybe? No. That's very strange. Hmm. Oh, because it's opening it up in paint. Not paint.net, which is my application of choice. <coughs> Okay. Open. Where's open with? I'm sorry, I haven't gotten my my full everything set up here. Um. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, fine. I'll just have to open it the other way around then. Close you. Go back to here. We're gonna open. Do it the manual way. I'll fix this later, too. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> okay, so six. One. Five. Did it exactly order it? Open it in reverse? Yes, it did. <laughs> Should have gone the other way. Okay, so here's number one. Okay, so Mr head there you are this should also be significantly smoother in this process too because this machine like I said is much more snappy um, I need to move this around actually I don't need the history I need you moved up here I actually haven't even opened this application up since I started this since I started using it and that needs to be over there there we go okay I just installed the application I actually haven't even used it yet <clears throat> like about like so
All right. <clears throat> so there is the first armor, so everyone can see what it looks like before I move on. Pretty cool looking. I like that one. Very kind of unique design of this kind of, you know, chains being wrapped around everything. It's pretty cool. And of course, the shield covers up most of that side, <laughs> as usual. And then this weapon has this like cool kind of like multiple bladed effect. It's very cool. The drawback to this particular color scheme is that when I if I make a mistake, it'll be dead obvious that I did. <laughs> so I have to really clean this up nicely. And blend in that wrist a little bit. And then I gotta take a little bit off the edge of that weapon right there so I can blend in the other end of it. It has this like really like dark kind of outline to it. It's pretty cool. Okay, can I get this to blend in nicely? Can I get that up into there? That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, there we go. There's that one. One down. Ten more to go. <laughs> okay, let me zoom out here a little bit. There we go. How wide are we? Oh, good lord. 330. <laughs> really, really wide armor on that one. Okay, we're going to save you. In here, this is going to be armor one. Not going to give me the prompt. There we go. That was slow. Maybe it's just because I haven't used it up until now. Okay. <clears throat> Here is Air and Earth. Which my guess at this point is this is going to be a seasonal, but I'm not sure. The face part of the helmet looks familiar. For the air and water, you mean? Sorry, I just asked if that's what you were talking about. I'm waiting for the repl re reply, and it's always a huge delay <laughs> between when I ask the question. Or actually, well, when you say something, it shows up on my end usually several seconds later. Yeah, the air water. Okay. Yeah, I, it, I have to look at it again. It kind of it didn't really look familiar to me, but they may have reused some elements from previous armors to kind of clean to kind of make a new armor, but not fully reinvent an armor. And there's that one. So people can see what it looks like. Pretty cool one too. Oop. Moving my mouse a little too much there. Shield. That one's not too bad. This one kind of blends in nicely with that, that armor. Then you got this massive like dual dual sided axe here. That one's that one blends in actually pretty nicely, but I still have to clean up this upper edge here a little bit, just so it blends in with the wrist a little bit cleaner. And then I need to just take the edge off that. <clears throat> it tends to work better when I'm blending in the rest of the handle, just to take off the very, very bottom edge. Because for whatever reason, it just doesn't blend well if I don't. And now, put that in there and it blends in nicely. Ta-da! That one's pretty narrow. Um, side to side, I mean. Okay, so that one is about 265. Hmm, that's almost square. <laughs> Pretty darn close, actually. Hmm, still doing that slow kind of laggy save thing. <clears throat> it might speed up as I go, but <clears throat> still kind of slow. All right. <clears throat> I'm 
trying to remember what the name of that air and fire water or air and fire and water air and fire armor was originally i believe it was a war armor but i'm trying to remember what the um what the name of the armor was it's been a while ago that it was in the game but i just can't think of the name i think it was i want to say it was water and earth or water and fire i don't remember for sure <coughs> But it was uh, it was a while ago. It hasn't been a recent one, maybe a year year and a half year or something like that ago. But I want to say it was a war armor. I'm just not sure. I can't remember. Cosmic Explorer rings a bell. I think. I don't remember now. It's been a while though, and it wasn't like a recent one. Because the the armor this is that one's based on the air and fire that's the reskin itself is a reskin as well um, of an of an armor from the past, but you know before then. Um, but I can't think of the name. I'm pretty sure it was a war though. But Cosmic Explorer I think might be the name of the most recent version. I'm just not 100% sure on the name. It's been long ago, enough ago. I don't remember for sure now. I remember most of the armor names, but if it's not something I've seen recently enough, it kind of slips out of my memory, <laughs> for lack of a better term. I just don't. This just doesn't. Not something that I need to keep in my memory banks, so I just don't. I don't remember all of them. <clears throat> I mean, we're on. You know, we're in season 55 now, for crying out loud. So it's not surprising that I would forget the armor names here and there. <laughs> I don't have a photographic memory, but I have a, a pretty good one. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Okay, that one is 300. Today. It's not just you. You're not seeing things. It's literally that slow. On the old um, on the old computer, that was significantly faster. I don't know what's going on with that. Let me double check really quick and make sure I'm not losing things. Okay, good. It is there. Oops, I moved one too many armors. Let's actually delete that. I don't need that one in there. I got one too many. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not having to wait on things because that's how it was before. I had to wait. For things to catch up so this is significantly faster and easier to use but that weird saving thing is gonna bother me i don't know why it's doing that okay and hopefully um as i said earlier i can actually game on this machine now it's not top of the line by any stretch but it's definitely definitely a workable machine really the only thing i could i could upgrade in the foreseeable future would be the video card because I just got a video card that was functional I didn't get anything like top of the line I just got one that'll work for me that has dual monitor support and and um, I don't have to upgrade you know anytime immediately soon if I don't want to because I can still play games on it decently not triple A titles of course because those are just so graphic intensive that my video card would be, would be the big bottleneck on that. I, I mean, I might be able to run some of them more recently, like maybe a year ago or something, but I'd have to turn down the settings way, way low for it to really be functional for me to play. There's that one. There's Air and Fire number one. That's the new one. I do like the look of these armors, and this is from, the, again, the, the, I should say, old art team, but technically new because they're, they're back from on a hiatus of not doing it for a while. And again, I don't think it was because the heart team wasn't around. They just weren't using them. They just weren't using them for that, that time frame. But they're back to kind of using that old team again. Which I'm glad about because the armors are looking more original again. Not like copies of things. Oh, I need to get that edge. Well, there's not really a whole lot I can do with the edge. Okay, well, that's fine. Drop this back behind. Yeah, doesn't blend perfectly, but it's pretty darn close. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that one's done.
Okay. Um, where are we at? About 295. Got some wide ones and we got some narrow ones. Oops, this is four. That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. That's frankly bothering me, but it's doing that. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta figure out why that's doing that. But I'll do that later. Not an urgent thing I have to take care of right now. You might be able to hear my grandkids now because they're literally just outside the door running around being crazy. Sorry. <laughs> you might not be able to hear him, but I definitely can. My grandsons are running around like chickens with their heads cut off. And being just as crazy. But far more vocal, <laughs> I would imagine, than a chicken might be. <laughs> with its head cut off. <laughs> okay, there's that. This is a cool armor. I'm not a big fan of the color scheme, though, on this one in particular. It's definitely air and fire based on the looks. I'm just not a fan of the uh, this particular color scheme. There's that one. And then we have these humongous shields that are going to cover up most of that side. Which, you know, this whole spike thing is going to be basically covered. Because <laughs> this thing's so huge. I guess it doesn't cover the whole thing, but it's so humongous. I'm going to have to put it in its own layer. Above the head. Holy crap. Don't have to do that very often. Because it's like on top of the head. See, like that point would go right up inside the helmet, so I have to put it on top. Huh, okay. That works. <laughs> it's not a whole lot in there, but it is in there. Okay. Big old massive blade. That one I definitely have to blend. Lots of blending on that one. Now I need to trim off the bottom edge of that. And that should hopefully clean up the edge for the rest of this handle. Because it's really not a whole lot of handle left outside the hand right there. It's This part right here was what I was just erasing. So there's not a whole lot of handle left, really. If I go into here and kind of drop this in place, like about like that, that's it. It's all done. <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot of handle left. Okay. That one's going to go right up into that corner, pretty much. And this is 295 as well. It's pretty decently wide armors this time around. Okay, <clears throat> that one's done. And now we have this one. And the color scheme, yeah, the color scheme on this one definitely does have some similarities to the Blessed Pillory, like you said earlier. I think it was you, Fishy, I think. Um, it definitely has some very, diff very, very similar color scheme, but the armor itself, other than like maybe the chest and, you know, some of the colors here, this is a bit more golden, though, than the Blessed Pillory, but I can see what you're talking about. It definitely has some similarities to it. But I think this is definitely a unique armor. Yeah, I hope so too. Um, it's kind of a bummer that these last two pets have had identical abilities. Er Earth and Spirit, I mean. Um, have had basically identical abilities. That's kind of a bummer. Um, we kind of, you know, recommend that they not do that. But, you know, it's not always... Um, they're not always going to, of course, take our advice. So that's fine. I'd, I hope they come up with a better pet this time around that has either like death blow and some other useful ability, but not um, not with this last one had. So give me just a quick second. I'm going to go tell these guys because they're literally just outside the door, like right there. I'm going to go ask them to not play there. So one second, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Hey, guys, can you play somewhere other than right outside the door? Get us back! Thank you. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Good lord. 
Kit's got some lungs on him. Okay, and like I said, I'm not sure if you can actually even hear him, but I can. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. I like the look of this armor quite a lot. This might be my either my favorite or my second favorite this month. I just love the horns and kind of that look of that that helmet has like that, um, like a bird-looking creature anyway in there, whatever you might want to call that. The weapon, not as big of a fan, but I do like the uh, the, the the armor itself. Otherwise, the weapon's a little bit weird, but that's okay. And this one, I'm definitely gonna have to blend in that the end of that. Okay. <clears throat> this one should be easier to blend in because it's got these little like bumps on it. So this one should be significantly easier to blend in because I think it's going to go right about there. Ta-da! It's actually a pretty long handle. Okay, that one about right there. There we go. So that's, good lord, another another really wide armor. Trying to get this centered in there somewhat. <clears throat> oh, could you hear him? I wasn't sure if you could hear him or not, but yeah, my, my grandson has a friend over and they're just being crazy. <laughs> Six. Yeah, on my old laptop, that would just take like a second for this to pop up and then I hit save. Don't know why it's doing that. Okay, moving on. Back up to open. We're gonna get number, whoops, I'm in the wrong folder. Um, seven, 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 seven. There's seven, there's eight, nine, 10, and 11. Open, whoops, no, wrong open. <laughs> like I said, I'm still getting used to this machine. It's a little different than what I'm used to. It's also Windows 10 instead of Windows 7, so that's a, a marked improvement by itself. Okay. Air Spirit number two. Oh, weird. That's weird. Why is that not there? There we go. It just disappeared on me. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Air Spirit number two. My uh, <clears throat> my grandsons are both. I have two grandsons. They're both really into uh, kind of more like <clears throat> action movies, like the Star Wars sort of stuff, as well as um, Avengers. You know that that usual sort of thing. They're they're really into those kinds of things. And when I opened the door, my grandson and his friend were had a lightsaber, and they were having like a very one sided lightsaber battle because one of them had one and the other one didn't. So it's kind of funny. But you could hear them like going, ah, blah, blah, like screaming and making noise. And they're still screaming, but they're upstairs now. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I didn't design the armors, I see. <laughs> I'm just putting them together. The art team is, I am not a member of the art team, so I'm just putting together what's here. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> it's not my choice. This is just what came out in the armor, or what came out in the files. So there's that armor. That's pretty cool. I like it. Not my favorite, but still pretty cool. There we go. All right. <clears throat> now this massive blade. Not a, really that drastic of a you know, difference. They have massive blades all the time normally anyway, but this one's bigger than the usual. Gotta blend in that wrist. Oops, sorry. Gotta blend in that wrist quite a bit too. And I'll take the just the slightest edge off that. Okay, that's going to go right about there, blending in nicely. <clears throat> that's a cool armor, too. Okay. 
Okay, let's see here. Right about there. Width-wise, we're at about 300 as well on that one. But pretty close to being centered. Whoops. You gonna let me save it or what, you dumb thing? There we go. <clears throat> this is number seven? Yeah. Nope, I'm in the wrong folder. What is going on here? Okay, I'm very confused here. Hang on, let me just cancel that. Save. <coughs> okay, I do not want to save it there. I want to save it here. Armor 7. There we go. That's much better. It was kept trying to save it to the previous folder I was in, which I didn't want it to do. So I'm still having some issues here and there, but it's mostly just getting used to this new machine and the peculiarities of it. It's still far better than what I had before. Bar none. Okay. <clears throat> Here's our air and water fusion. Or at least what I believe to be the fusion. Anything about Earth boosted pets? I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean by boosted. You mean like the primal? Or do you mean something else? It's probably too early for them to switch it over. I mean, you have to keep in mind that not only is it a weekend right now, it's also just after the new year, so it's probably going to take them a few days to get it updated. <clears throat> you mean as far as, like, the elements being more, more likely to be that month's, you know, more likely to get more of that month's elements, yeah. Um, it's, mo it's probably a combination of the two. Like I said, it's not only a weekend, it's Sunday, because they're not normally in the office on Sundays. But it's also, you know, just after a new year, so... It's probably going to be a few more days before they get that changed. There we go. A little bit of blending on this one, but not too bad. Just a little. A little bit off the edge of that. <clears throat> And the snow is starting to come down heavier again. It's been snowing since about 9 o'clock this morning. Not a whole lot of accumulation so far, like maybe an inch, but it is snowing. And in my opinion, it's about damn time. It's been... <clears throat> we haven't really had much in the way of snow so far this year, and we usually have at least a few inches by now. But we had, like, maybe four inches, and then, like, most of it, all but maybe an inch of it, melted off in the, in the intervening weeks. But it's actually now snowing again, and it looks like it might actually accumulate a decent amount today. Hopefully. Because we need the water. The, where I live is it's referred to as a high desert. So even though it's higher elevation, it is um, still a very dry climate. So we definitely need the water. <coughs> Global warming is kicking in. <laughs> I like to refer to it as climate change. It's a little more accurate. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely wreaking havoc. So here is our exclusive. Got a little bit of an edge right there I have to clean up. This is the first armor this month I've had to do that with. Right there, there's a little bit of an edge. Not a lot of it, just a little bit. Just a little, there we go. Looks a little funky if I don't. <coughs> Legs, I'm blind, there we are. 
<laughs> like, where are the legs? I've lost them. Air month armor. Yes, this is air. This is the dual air exclusive. Nice, nice shade right there. That actually made that leg and armor, or that leg and leg and upper half go together nicely. It had a nice shaded area that blended it in quite nicely. Yeah, this is the dual air exclusive. So this is the the top armor for next month. Except for this beautiful armor, T10 Indy. <laughs> I don't go top runs. I don't do top runs at all, so I don't know. Why not both? <laughs> if you're not buying gems and you don't have the spare income, you kind of have to make those sort of decisions. Oh, hey, K-Man. <laughs> you're, uh... Oh, yeah, it's K-Man. Sorry, I thought you were talking about it. you. You were K-Man. Never mind. Yeah, he's he's been on here for a little bit. Uh, gonna go right about there. And this weapon, I like this weapon. Kind of this cool dual bladed look to it. For those of you who have played Halo, other than the way it's held, it does have kind of that similar sort of the dual bladed thing that the that the Covenant are carrying. Those the big Covenant guys, I can't remember their names. College is expensive. <laughs> yup. Where's the handle? Am I blind? Oh there it is. Okay, drop this in behind, right about here, and there's our dual air exclusive. Okay, get you right about there, 245, wow. This is a very, very small armor. Which really isn't that surprising, though. There's actually been quite a number of them that are armor 10? No, 9. Yeah, there we go. Confused there for a second. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Oops, I just closed the. I just closed one. I didn't want to close. Oops. Um, do, 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 do. I closed number 10 on accident. No, I didn't. Never mind. Hang on. Let me jump back to here. Let me look here really quick. Okay, I'll go out of here into here. So we have dual air. Yeah, I only have the two left. Okay, cool. I just wanted to be sure. Dual wield swords. Um, honestly, don't know. I don't work for DECA, and their their art team does not communicate with anybody but DECA, so I honestly have no idea. They could. They might. Unlikely, though. Most of the armors that, they are, that their team designs have the usual kind of weapon and shield, but who knows? They might. It is possible. Got a little bit of an edge right there. Any other ones? Nope. Looks pretty good. Okay. So this is the first of the event armors. Again, most likely Chinese New Year. This has some edges on it I have to blend into. Like on the edge of that hand right there. I don't really need to worry about that, but because it'll be behind the arm, but <clears throat> the hand on the other side definitely needs to be blended. It's going to be right about there. That will bug me if I don't. And legs. Definitely a very unique looking armor. Gotta say that. Well, unique meaning it's it's got some cool effects to it, but it does very it does actually resemble the water and fire um, event armors we had. What elements is the event armor? Air and water. <clears throat> um, it does have some similar looks to the previous water and fire event armor we had, but it is still unique enough in my eyes that it's it's still cool looking. But it's just, you know, not my thing. Not my cup of tea. Cool looking armor and everything, just not really my my you know, my favorite. 
trying to get that centered. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, there's actually been multiple armors that have had the dual wield. There was the uh, dark scale battle gear, one of the very early shadow for early dragon forged armors. There's actually a few legendary armors that dual wield. Uh, there's actually quite a lot. There haven't really been any shadow forged, I think, that dual wield. Pretty sure, but there definitely have been a lot before. Dragon forged and um, dragon forged legendary, and I think one or two epics too. I know at least legendaries anyway. That looks funky to me. I guess that is the way it's supposed to go though. Okay, weird. <clears throat> okay, so there's event armor number one. Yeah, the event armors always are always uh, adjacent elements matching the element of the month in particular and then the element following. So in this case, it's air and then water. Like the last one was water and then fire. This one we're in right now is earth and spirit, you know, that kind of thing. So, or spirit and earth, excuse me. Okay, this is about 265. Not square at all on that one. It's very, very tall, but not very wide. Okay. So this one is number 10. Okay. And last but not least, our golden version of the same armor. This also has the same edge of right there on the hand I'm going to have to clean up too. <coughs> a little bit on the bottom of that helmet but you can't really see it so I'm just gonna leave it there lost the legs again I was like where did the legs go they're right there bonehead <laughs> <coughs> right in front of you if you had eyes to see okay there we go This one has the outer edge of the arms. Got some, got a little bit of a bleeding edge on it too, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother with cleaning it up since it'll be covered by the shield. But I'll do it anyway. Not a lot of it, just a little. <clears throat> There's that one. Looks pretty much exactly the same as the other one, as usual, with these event armors. Uh, but this one is the golden version instead of the quote unquote regular version. It's gonna go right about there. Weapon over here. Okay. That one doesn't even need to be blended in. It matches up nicely. Uh, no, usually vice versa. Usually the regular version is the easier one, and the golden version is the one that has the higher the better stats and the um, the harder one to get where you have to do like high milestones and all that stuff. Like this month the um, the festive fur male is the quote unquote normal one and then the amber fur male is this is the stronger one. Or at least should have been. Um, the <clears throat> ring and amulet stats and the set bonuses on the festive are, are far off what they should be. They should be much weaker than they currently are. And I, so I don't know if they'll change, but right now the festive fur male is actually stronger than the amber fur male's equivalent earth and spirit. As far as the uh, the, uh, the HP is concerned, anyway. The attack and defense stats are still better on the amber. Okay. That's the last one. Okay. Let me jump back to my other window here and look at my last one and see how big it was. This one was only 10 armors though, so I gotta look for the one before that one I think had 11. Yeah, that one right there had 11. So we're gonna use that one as our reference point. So that one is, uh, 
1700 by 1250. Okay. from about the 350-ish. There we go. Well, the problem there is that you can't farm the igloos, the spawns. There's, there's no igloos in the spawns, so you can't do that. So there's no other way to get them other than spending and getting high milestones. Or opening chests or whatever. <clears throat> okay. Now, here we go. Start laying these puppies out. Is it going to go on top? Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay. Right about there. And this one right about... Scooch that in just a little bit. Because these have got some really wide armors in here. So i got to make sure I'm getting my... Armor's kind of zoomed in. I'm, gonna have to, I'm probably going to have to move that in a bit after I get the rest of these laid out, but I will put it there for now. There we go. Kind of didn't have that one lined up like I needed it to be. I'm probably going to move them, but I want to just get them positioned for now and see how it looks. Because I'm going to be putting five on one row and six on the other. I may end up doing the five on the bottom because this one's huge. There's just not enough room. So I'm going to put this one down here. Maybe just a little bit to the left. Because the last two are very, very narrow. They're not as wide as the others. Okay. No, I think I'm going to have to move them. Yep, going to have to move them. Scooch them in a little closer. And I can move this one just a little bit closer. Actually, hang on. Let me try that again. Because I can definitely, you know, it gets those guys a little closer than they currently are. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> for the current one, no, you can't farm for most of it. You can farm for some of it, yes, but not all of it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit that, that spirit up there. I don't know if it's going to fit. I'm going to try it. Try this inch in there just a little bit. Ooh, it's tight. <laughs> it's going to fit, though. Now I'm going to move these guys over. Like about like that. There we go, much better. Okay. Dual error is going to be right in the middle on the bottom row. Gotta work. And the last two are tiny. So they're going to be easy to position. There we go, much better. Okay. Alright, so there we are. So let me get my elements. Let's start off with water. <coughs> Actually, no, sorry, hang on. I gotta do ring and amulet sets first. There we Mixed months in them, a bit of air water. Well, yeah, that's that's why they have uh, the second element. <laughs> Unless I'm misunderstanding what you're talking about. That's usually how it looks. Each month has, you know, the primary element, in this case air, and then all the other elements besides. Unless I'm under misunderstanding what you're meaning. That's how it usually works.
Oh, well, yeah, the, <clears throat> so the, like, for example, in just a second, when I get the bring an amulet set down, laid down here for the, um, the dual air, they, I've actually been doing that a lot lately, where the, the primary element, or the primary, excuse me, the primary armor, the, the exclusive, this guy right here, does not distinctly look just a lot like air. It's got some, like, water sort of feel to it. It doesn't look just strictly air. Just like this one here that's air and water doesn't look strictly air and water either. It's got some other colors combinations in it. Um, and then this guy here looks like air and fire, very very clearly air and fire, same with this one. But this um, uh, air and spirit over here, again, has other elements to it as well. So it's they've been doing that a lot lately. Like the, uh, the new art team is making some, I think, cool choices on how they want the armors to look. So they're not strictly like, oh, this is an air armor. It has to look just like all white and, you know, sort of silver colors and nothing else. So I, th I kind of like the look of it. I like think, that, think it looks good. But, you know, your mileage may vary. You may not like it at all. But that's what I think. I think it's I think it's a wise decision to not make them look just strictly one color scheme. Like they can experiment with them a little bit and make them look a little more, a little more interesting and not quite as bland, I guess, is the best way to describe it. I like the look of them. I think they look good. I like the, the style change from before. And there we are. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get the elements down now. Water. Mr. Water, actually. Nope. Hang on. New layer. There we go. Water can go over the top now. Okay. That's what I wanted. Okay. Water there and water there. And water here and water here. There we are. Now let's get spirit, and there are two of them right down here. One of them. And way over here on the right. Okay. Fire. Okay. Now we just have air. Oops. Wrong button. Wrong window. <laughs> okay. Water. Air and water. Whoops. Slow down there, Turbo. Yeah. It's a reskin, unfortunately, but yeah, it was a good design in the first place. I think, anyway. As I said, your mileage may vary. You may you may like it, you may not. <clears throat> I like it. I like the look of the original armor, too. So, this isn't necessarily a bad color combination, like the um, the air and fire at the top. This guy right here, I like the other the original version of that one a lot better. But like I said, it just depends on your on your preference. You may like it as is. air and there's that okay there's our armors so here's my initial predictions of what I think things are going to be so this first one of course is raid um, this one the air and earth I am pretty sure is going to be a seasonal um, air and earth second one is a raid <clears throat> Air and Fire is seasonal. Air and Fire second one is war. Air and Spirit seasonal. Air and, er, Air and Spirit second is war. Fusion, exclusive, event, event. That's what I think at this point. It's possible I could be wrong. I have been wrong before, so don't quote me on that. That's just what I think they'll be. Um, and I'm going to get this going here in just a second. Give me one moment. I'm trying to not do this right in your ear. <laughs> it can be very loud when I open that up, so I don't want to do it right in your ears. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, let me get the rest of this going here. Let me go quickly save this. The 
before I move on, just in case. Um, hello. Did it save it? I can't tell if it actually saved it or not. It did, okay. All right, just kind of confused me because I didn't see that updated there at the top. You might not be able to see it, but that's that's where the name is right there. Oh, that's weird. I just realized that my um, top left header is not showing up either. Huh. Okay, whatever. I usually have a little header up here in the top of the corner, but it's not displaying either. Let me minimize this. Is it there? No, it's not there. Huh. Okay. Weird. Very strange indeed. Got another window in the way. Okay. <clears throat> Back on here. Okay. Do 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 do. <clears throat> okay, so we're now at about an hour and a half. Uh, I'm not doing too bad. I'm going to do a text box right about... Oh, I've still got something selected. Hang on. There we go. Like about like that. Let's do 26. Can definitely go bigger than that. <laughs> I also uh, made my box too big as usual, which is fine. I can always resize the box. Oops. And then delete the excess when I'm done. Okay. Let's kind of get you centered here. That's way off center, but it doesn't look like it is. Oh, I'm sorry, duh, I'm going the wrong direction. There we go, that's centered. Or as close as it's going to get, anyway. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, we're going to do material number one. Right about here. And then material number two. Right about here. Okay. <clears throat> now. Oh, wait, hang on. i got to do my pets here really quick first. Okay. That's not the one I want. Okay, so there's the head of, I'm going to assume that one is going to be the, um, so this one is primal, that's regular. Again, I could be wrong, and I think Icedy or Fishy, one of you said that, <clears throat> that you said it was probably going to be the primal too, the kind of the golden looking one. Um, but this is probably just the regular, so and that's 90, 84. So 84 is tier 5, and that one's tier 5 primal. Okay, moving on. So that one is 89, is tier 4 primal, and 90, I believe, yep, is tier 4. So this one has like this like kind of, I don't know what you call those, like little feathers or something coming off the head, whereas the one before it has the, has kind of like a, a covering on it. So that's going to be the other one. Okay. <clears throat> So, 91. So that one is tier 3, normal. And 92 is tier 3, primal. 93, tier 2, primal. 94, tier 2. I might have these wrong, actually, now that I look at them. Oh, come on, stop it, you dumb thing. Um, 96. I'm going to rename these probably in just a second, because I think I might have some of these wrong. So 98 is tier 1. Okay, I think I might have these wrong. But let me look at them here individually. Whoops. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's tier 1. Nope. Definitely have that wrong. Yeah, that's actually more like tier three. And that's tier one. So these ones here that have this kind of like 
more insectoid sort of look to them that has the legs that are sticking out there. I think that's probably more tier one. So this one here is probably going to be tier two. And this one is more likely to be tier two. Keyboard's acting weird. This is tier one. And this one is tier one. Oop, hang on, wrong one. That one's tier one. Prime. Okay, there we go. So this is tier two regular. And this is tier two prime one. Okay, I think that's right. So we're gonna move those over. So tier one. I'll look at them once I get them all laid out, but I wanna get these in place first. about like that. It's kind of not always easy to spot. So this is a slightly bigger eye. <clears throat> but the chest plates are kind of more separate here on this one. This one just looks like it's one solid one. It's not always easy to tell on the pets. <laughs> but we'll see what we get. And then this one is definitely, whoops, I did not copy that. There we go. This one's definitely tier four. And this one's definitely tier five. I'm probably gonna move these down. Oh, maybe they'll fit. I don't wanna cut that thing off though. I may have to do this the hard way. like that. Okay. So <clears throat> my only concern at this point, I know one is correct and I know four and five are correct. I'm just not sure about two and three. Um, I think I might have them backwards. Well, maybe not. There's more definition on this kind of wing bit back here in the back. But this one has more definition on it too. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I might be wrong. It might be actually two and three and three and two. I don't know. But I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. I'm pretty sure I'm okay in, in any case anyway. It's really not that big of a deal <laughs> if I happen to have them backwards. There we go. This has like the chopped off top at the top of that circle. Kind of weird looking to randomly have that on here. It's all right though. They're not perfectly in alignment, but that's okay. They don't have to be. I used to I used to really, you know, kind of fret about that kind of thing, make sure that they always lined up every time, but it's like, yeah, it's all right. They don't have to be perfect every single time. As long as they're in the vicinity of where they should be, we should be good. And there's that, there's the pets. So let me get my text box down here. Probably going to have to move that, but that's okay. That's way too big of a box. Holy cow. <laughs> Let's try that this time again with a little less failure. <laughs> there we go. That's much better. <laughs> Derp. I can delete that little bit right there. And move you kind of more in the center. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> I was thinking I might do like the, the three and then f then two like I've done before, but this will work just fine. Okay, now I gotta get the cape and I need to put the cape on the ultimate armor or the exclusive armor, excuse me, as well. Put this over here, kind of in that area. And then I will open this one up. I'm gonna have to do it from here though. Open. Give it a second to open. All right. And then I gotta open up the cape.
we're getting there. Okay, so now I'm going to go here. We're going to take this one here. We're going to resize this one here to be, let's do 500. I need to clear out all this other stuff around here. Trying to get it centered in here. Hmm. That's going to have to work. It doesn't really look like it lines up all that well. Let me look back at this one here and see where it kind of where it kind of fits in there. So, right there in the middle of the shoulders. Okay. Just about like that, I guess. Yep, looks pretty good to me. All right. <clears throat> the same file name. <laughs> that would be bad. Overwrite the other one. I mean, I could just redo it, but don't need to do that if I got, got it correct in the first place. Okay, now we're going to resize to about 250. closer and then down just a hair made that one a little bit too big too but that's okay I always seem to do that on the glass. Yeah, it kind of does. There was one, uh, I can't think of what it was. It was, I want to say around season 30 something. There was one that had um, a life, life bulb or something like that. Anyway, I don't know. I can't remember what it was called. It was like life bulb or something to that effect. I can't remember the exact name. Okay. Now we're going to do bosses. here to my elements air of course there we go we got earth on this one and water on this one that earth looks off kilter to me. There we go. Much better. Okay. There's that. <clears throat> okay. Now, we also got the event materials. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Just the event materials. I'm going to put these actually just directly below the bosses. Eh, actually, no, I'm not going to place that yet. 
let me do my let me save this really quick and I'm gonna do that really fast so I have that done probably going to be able to shorten this up a bit. That's why I wanted to get this kind of down here so I could see where it was going to go. Because <clears throat> I still need to fit my materials in there. And then I'll probably put my um, whoops, put my thing up here for the so this is uh, brain cramp. What am I doing here? Season, okay, that's right. <laughs> I'm totally drawing a blank on what I wanted to do there. Season 55, hair. But I want to have that be a bit bigger, so it kind of sticks out a bit more. And then I will make it glow. So it kind of sticks out. Oops, actually, let me do that a little bit more. There we go. That'll work. Actually, that's too much. <laughs> of course, I start doing things and I'm like, wait, that's wrong. Hang on, that's wrong too. I don't want it to be quite that bright, but I want the contrast to be a bit more... A little more attention grabbing. There we go. No, it's still not right. I don't like that either. Okay, let's set this back to defaults. I want to just glow this guy up here and not really touch anything else. Why are you not cooperating with me? Nah, good enough. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just making gale vials and bottled messages. Yeah, they do look pretty similar. <clears throat> okay, so let's get the event materials in here. But actually, before I do that, let me do this really quick here. And I need to drop this back down to 24. So this one is first row, third. I don't need it to be that small. I can do 28, I think. Yeah, that'll work. First row, third armor. I may have picked the wrong color, though. There we go. That's the right one. And this is first row, first armor. Like so. All right. Event materials. Oops, I'm in the wrong layer. There we go. This can go right over the top of that. Woohoo. <clears throat> okay, so we got one right there. One right there. And one right there at the bottom. Let me move them all up. And just a little bit off to the center there. Trying to get them to where they're not overlapping that. Because I mean, I can go right over the top of it, but I don't want it to be right on top of it either. So, because I, I want to have a place to put my text box. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to do a box. Oop. Oops, not that big. There we go. Okay. Now I need to do the arrow. And then rotate. Don't know why it doesn't have the option to just give you the, re the ability to go left to right. I don't know. It just always is left to right. You can't do it the other way around. So I always have to rotate it around that way. And that's it. <clears throat> so now let me see where am I at here on the bottom end. I am at 1150. Yeah, 1150 will work nicely. Okay. I may have to 
move this up just a bit though. So it's not right on the bottom. Welcome. Good to see you. I'm doing pretty well. How are you? I got a little bit of a thing I gotta clean up right there. Ta da! Okay, all done. <clears throat> so, one final time. We're at an hour and 46 minutes, so it's about the normal time, but it's just because I had a few issues in the beginning. Um, so, we have raid, seasonal, raid, seasonal, war, seasonal, war, fusion, exclusive, event, event. That's kind of what I think most likely are going to be what they're going to look like. So, most likely that's what they'll be anyway. Um, I may actually end up shifting these pets down because that's a little too close, but other than that, I think we're done. Um, let me jump back actually into here. And then I can go like this and I can move. Actually, let me move that right there down just a bit. And let's move this one up just a bit so it's a little bit smaller of a box. So I can move the whole box down. So it's not right there up next to him. And then I'll grab this and move that all down. So it's not right on top of that material. There we go. Much better. There we are. So let me save that one final time. And that's it. We're done. So that is it for this month. Um, I'll hopefully be getting the, um, the data for uh, March in the next week or two, something like that, and then hopefully I'll be doing another one shortly thereafter. Is it too, way too soon for air months? There might be some changes. Uh, actually, no, not likely. Um, I would normally have the data for air month um, within the next week or two, normally anyway, and I've been checking every day, and this is the exact same file every single time. There's nothing new, so I don't think this will change. It's very unlikely that it will. It's possible, of course. Nothing is guaranteed, but I really don't think it'll change. So, that is that. How long until these are on candy bot? Um, usually about five minutes. I just have to save the file and then upload it and add my predictions. So, not usually very long. But that's it. So, we are done for the day. Um, hopefully, like I said, I'll have next month's data. So, not next month, sorry. Next month is February. Um, I might have marches within the next two to three weeks. honestly not sure. I was told that the data would be early. This was way early. This is normally not this early. Um, I got it on the 13th, I want to say. Of uh, Let me jump back into here and look. Um, the wrong folder. There we go. So when I first got these, yeah, it was the 13th of December, so way early. Normally I would get it around the 7th, the 10th or so of this month, of January, for February. So March, I might get as soon as the next two to three weeks. I'm honestly not sure. But that's it, as I said. So <clears throat> I'll go ahead and uh, stop the stream here in just a second, but I will upload this to CandyBot, like I said, within the next few minutes. I'll also put up my predictions online as well in a separate post on my timeline. But that's it for now. So thanks, everyone, for joining in, and uh, see you next time. Thanks, everybody.